56. Y varies directly with X. If Y is 21 when X is 9, what is the value of Y when X is 15? So what do we have to do here in this problem? Well, first, we need to come up with an equation. Y varies directly with X. So this tells us that Y is equal to KX, where K is a constant. Let's say if it's stated that Y varies indirectly with X or is inversely proportional to X, then the equation that we would use is Y is equal to K over X. Now, we need to use the information here to calculate K. Once we have the value of K, we can calculate the value of Y when X is 15. So we know that Y is 21 when X is 9. So to solve for K, we need to divide both sides by 9. So K is 21 over 9. Now, 21, we can write that as 7 times 3. 9, we can write that as 3 times 3. And if we cancel a 3, we can see that k is 7 over 3. So thus we have the formula y is equal to 7 over 3 times x. So now we could answer the second part of the problem. What is the value of y when x is 15? So y is going to be 7 over 3 times 15. 15 is basically 5 times 3. And so we could cancel a 3, and then all we have left over is 7 times 5, which is 15. And so this, no, I take that back. 7 times 5 is not 15. That is a big mistake. 7 times 5 is 35. And therefore, C is the right answer. Now, for those of you who truly value this video, if you want to show your appreciation, one of the best ways you can do so is by subscribing to this channel. And it really doesn't take too long. Just click on that red button at the bottom of the screen, and that's it. By the way, if you decide to do so, don't forget to turn on or click on that notification bell. Now, for those of you who want to support my channel, here's the link to my Patreon page. Also, when you get a chance, check out the links in the description section below this video because I'm going to post some other resources that you might find helpful. So let's get back to the video. 57. Y varies inversely with the square of X. If Y equals 2 when X is 2, what is the value of Y when X is 4? Well, first, let's write an equation. In the last example, we saw that when y varied directly with x or proportional with x, it was simply kx. If y varies inversely with x, x is on the bottom, but k is always on the top. Now, in this example, y varies inversely with the square of x, so it's going to be k over x squared. The square of x is x squared. So we're going to follow the same process that we used in the last example. Using this part of the problem, we are going to calculate k. And then once we have the value of k, we can plug in 4 into x and calculate the value of y. So y is 2 when x is 2. So what is k? 2 squared is basically 4. Now let's write 2 over 1, and we can cross multiply. So we have 1 times k, which is k. And that's equal to 2 times 4, which is 8. So thus, replacing k with 8, we have the equation y is equal to 8 over x squared. Now with that in mind, let's see what y is going to be when x is 4. So this is going to be 8 over 4 squared. Now, 4 squared is 16. And we can write 16 as 8 times 2. And 8, you can write that as 8 times 1. So if you cancel an 8, we can clearly see that y is 1 half. And so e is the answer for this problem. 
By the way, for those of you who want more examples on these type of problems, go to YouTube and type in Direct Variation Organic Chemistry Tutor. And a video should come up with more harder problems related to this topic. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance.